I'm Debbie from the home of interiors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through the Cameron Fuller range of portier rods. Um, for more product and trend updates and home interiors hints and tips, please subscribe to our channel. Cameron Fuller are a UK manufacturing company based in Devon um, who have a range of portier rods in their 19mm curtain pole range. Um, a portier rod is great for fixing a curtain behind a door um, to eliminate draughts and also in a dormer window where space can be quite limited either side of the window um, and a portier rod enables you to swing the curtain out of the way when not in use um, and fix it to the um, adjacent wall. The portier rods are available in a 90mm diameter in the 11 finishes available in the metal curtain pole range from Cameron Fuller um, with um, a choice of 9 finial styles. Um, so I'll just talk you through the, um, the finishes. Um, these are what I'd classify as sort of the more modern um, contemporary finishes. And I think Cameron Fuller have done a great job of a really nice neutral colour palette um, in the metal finishes. Um, so we'll just talk you through the options. There's white, and I'm holding at the top here, versus chalk. Um, so the white being a really nice and bright white versus the chalk, which is a lovely cream. It's sort of an accru cream. Um, some creams you can get a little bit yellowy, but this one isn't. It's just a very nice cream finish. Moving on to oyster, um, which is still a warm tone, but just a little bit more putty. So if you can just see, very slight hint of grey coming through, but very, very subtle, um, but still, I would say it's a warm, a warm shade. Moving on to ash, which is a little bit cooler and going more down the grey tone. So ash versus ash in the top versus oyster underneath. And then carrying on with a grey um, colour is the nimbus. So a really nice mid grey. Nimbus in the top, oyster underneath. And then we've got slate, um, which is just a slightly darker grey, um, but again a nice um, contemporary colour. In the more traditional finishes, we've got graphite, um, which is a, a dark metal. Then we've got bronze. We've got black. Now black's interesting because black works really well in both modern and traditional um, interior design styles. As windows and doors are getting darker with the aluminium frames, um, bifold doors are popular again with the aluminium. Um, the black can work really well. It's a lovely matte finish. Um, and if you're after a sort of a wrought iron look, which works really well in period properties or um, country cottages, um, this black finish is, is really, really a lovely finish and works well in those environments. Then pewter is a lacquered finish um, along with chrome. Now chrome isn't quite the highly polished finish you'd expect um, and you get from other, other ranges. It hasn't quite got that um, sort of tap shininess to it, um, but it's still a sort of a mirrored finish and it is, uh, it's got a lacquer on it. Um, the pewter in the, above that, um, a slightly more mid-grey. So the finials can all, you can choose a finial of your choice for the portier rod. Um, so we've got the stopper, the collar, the barrel, which are sort of the sort of the minimal contemporary ones. Then we've got the ball, which is always a classic, um, never date. Then you've got the curl, the spear, and the cage and the basket style. So the way that the Cameron Fuller um, portier rod works is you get a hinge bracket that, that fixes to the door frame or the window frame, um, and the pole, and then you get a, sorry a piece of pole that slots into the hinge. And then you get a 1.2 metre pole that fixes to the, um, the shorter piece of pole. Okay, like that. I will take the pole off, otherwise um, I'm gonna be a little bit limited in what I can show you. <laughs> and then the finial fits the other end of the pole. Okay. Um, the poles can be cut to size with a, um, a junior hacksaw. And you also get um, two support brackets. So that, these will work at the opposite end of your hinge bracket. So one fixes to the door or across the dormer window that you're um, wanting to cover with the curtain. And the other one fixes to the adjacent wall. So this might be behind your door um, or just against your wall at a, in a dormer window. And the pole just um, can just jump off the, you can sort of just, just yeah, jump, jump the pole off, one bracket, slide, slide the curtain, twist the curtain round and support it on the other supporting bracket. 
The pole comes with 12, 12 rings as standard. Um, additional rings can be purchased separately, so please see accessories on the product page on our website. And you also get two um, locking collars. So you will position one curtain ring at the end with the hinge, then the locking collar, and this will just keep the curtain in place. And then likewise, the other end, um, you'll have your locking collar, and then you'll have your final ring on the other end of the pole. Again, to, to, support, to stop the, the curtain moving. So the curtain is always in the um, sort of closed position, so always a, across the length of the pole. Um, as you swing the curtain um, across the door, and then you might put it on the supporting um, bracket on the side wall, um, it will mean you can see the curtain from both sides. So please um, you know, make sure that your curtain is double-sided. These are only suitable for doors um, that open inwards, um, but they are really useful as well in a dormer window. If you've got a window that opens inwards, um, you can swing the curtain out of the way, which enables you to use the window, which may be a reason why you want a portier rod versus a curtain pole. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us the thumbs up and thank you for watching.